little bit of this is fog on my lens. But a lot of it is actually just straight up fog. <laughs> you literally can't even see Cinderella's castle this morning. Huh. How rude. Should I ask for a refund? <laughs> just kidding. So today we're going to head to Hollywood Studios so we can say goodbye to the Great Movie Ride. Um, it is probably one of my least favorite rides in Disney, so I won't be that sad. But it still stinks because it's the last original attraction left, so... Uh, besides Indiana Jones. I think. Maybe we'll actually do Tower of Terror today. We'll see. Hollywood. You can't see anything because it's so foggy. <laughs> I got picked for security and rightfully so apparently. Set off the metal detector. I have no idea why. That happens to be at the airport too. Anyway, I was saying they didn't have the red carpet out and then they did. Yep. We didn't walk down it though. Because we're in rope drop for. Yeah. I was too busy taking pictures of Nessie and it was this rope drop. <laughs> Maybe this is all just a play to make the great movie very popular again. Because <laughs> everyone's like. God, I got to the right over here. <laughs> Say bye. I wonder if they'll keep the interior, like this part. Well, yeah, they will, because they're not getting rid of the actual. <laughs> bye, great movie ride. <laughs> so I wanted to know what they were going to do with all this stuff. Yeah. Hollywood. <laughs> oh, my Lord. And we are rolling. This <laughs> scene is from one of my favorites, the 1933 Busby Berkeley Spectacular Footlight Parade. Uh, here's one of the quintessential Disney musicals, Mary Poppins, starring Julie Andrews and Dick Van Dyke. Please no flash photography, thank you. Here's the birthplace of the gangster film, the CD Underbelly of Chicago from The Public Enemy, starring James Cagney. Released in 1931 before strict censorship rules were enforced, The Public Enemy is a gritty, realistic, and violent look at the world of gangsters of the Depression era. I love this movie. In one famous scene, James Cagney shoves a grapefruit in Meg Clark's face. Yeah. She can never look at breakfast in the same way again. Those tough guys can turn anything into a weapon. We're gonna take it. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna kick in with the dog. And if you don't, somebody's gonna drop by here and kick your teeth out one at a time. You Sorry about the delay, folks. I don't want to run a red light, even in the movies. Hey, I'm not allowed to leave my vehicle. Uh, I should get over here. I think it's time for a visit to a concession stand. Bye. Straws, warm, wait. Okay, Muggsy, whatever you say. Hey, how do you know my name, anyways? I've seen this.
movies. Goodbye, it was great when we ride. We don't even really like you, and I'm so sad. <laughs> yeah. Especially when it's like a classic. Uh, we usually check it out of Hollywood Tower Hotel. I can't even talk. But <laughs> not today. I guess we're gonna do it today. Did you survive? <laughs> it was a, a rough one. Oh, yeah, we did. I was gonna film it and then I really got scared, so I didn't. No stairs. Oh, we thought maybe the Garmin would think we did stairs. Can't fool. Darn it. Well, I guess my question is next time you come to a hotel that's deserted on a dark night, what would you do? Well, I don't know. The guy in the end told us not to come. But I mean, I don't know. it's not nighttime. It's true, but we went anyway and it wasn't good. <laughs> it was oh well. Not. But we survived. Did we? We think we did. Are we we may be in the Twilight now? Zone. We're ghosts. <laughs> They're gonna catch you and arrest you. <laughs> so, <laughs> we met. We went to the Guardians of the Galaxy meet and greet. <laughs> Neither one of us has seen Guardians of the Galaxy. One or two, or any of them. I don't know how many there are. So we met Star Lord, I think is his name, in group, baby group. And Star Lord like comes and takes us, and he's like, "You gotta dance," and we're like, ah, laughing, and he's like, "No, I'm serious." <laughs> so we had to dance so that we could meet baby group. But and we're like, it wasn't no good. Idea what's going on. No. Then at least we got to watch one man streaming. Yeah. yeah. I have to say, um, Lord, what's his name? Star Lord. Was quite handsome. Well, you know who plays him really? Chris Pratt. All right, whose car are we gonna get? Oh, gosh, let me think. One second. Mr. Potato. I choose ham. Always ham. Oh, never got ham. Nope. One. You don't know that I don't like ham. Oh, but I like the character of ham. We're going to the third track. Oh, hey. Soldiers were talking about how this construction wall is home to their future place. Hey, he doesn't even have eyes. Yeah. All right. Let's see. You step forward and you go right behind him. Let's form a line. Take your three pieces of camo ammo. Stand as close as you need to. Stand as close as you need to. Set yourself up to succeed, soldier. We got one. We got two. Okay. Give me one jumping jack for the one that you missed. Give me a jumping jack. Jumping. <laughs> There we go. Excellent. You can just drop that there. Fall back in line at the west open the wall. Give a round of applause. Okay, no, okay. Whoa. Did you just cut the line? What's even cut the line? Yes, yes, you're wearing camouflage so that they can't see it. Hey, all right, you, right there, stormtrooper shirt. Stand as close as you need to. Stand as close. Oh, wait a minute. Go on ahead. Keep going. Okay, no, one more, one more, one more. Oh, that's good. Give me one jumping jack. Excellent. Misunderestimated you, I did. We're in a 50 minute wait. <laughs> Olaf must be extra happy. Because it is extra work. You're in Dad's lounge. Waiting for dinner. For lunch, I should say. Are you behaving? So far, so good. Keep those, keep those elbows off the table. Yes. 
So what do you think? I, I just turned in. Are your elbows on the table? Behave. She got dessert because she ate all her veggies, even though I ate most of them for her. Works for me. <laughs> How's that fair? I was kidding. And I, instead of a ghost following you home for the haunted mansion, a ghost is driving us home. No one's driving the bus. Just, this guy's just standing there. They are making buses. <laughs> automatic? Automatic. Well, they probably it's a robot. First time we're at this one, so oh. the robot's doing a good job. Yeah. What are we doing? No, there's no can. Yeah. Very good. Ooh, so close. Well, we've had a evening, I mean an afternoon. May I show you what I purchased? Sure. From my gift card. I see polka dots. Yours truly, for my birthday. I got a mini. Aw, cute. That's so cute. Which I well, now we're going to trudge to Magic Kingdom and hopefully it's not nearly as hot as it was last time. Because that was pretty darn hot. You're looking for the world's longest way in Disney World. It's here. Because I feel like when you're trying to cross it's like... Slow-mo. Oh my god. I set off a metal detector again and I got wanded this time. <laughs> wanded. <laughs> He's like, I think it's her hat. I'm like, I'm pretty sure it's not because I don't know what else it would be because I did not have this hat on this morning. Scout Hodges and Corey should be honored by the pound. Shift your cargo, dearie. Show them your larboard side. Oh, ready. Well, lay there, you folks, and swap. We use mobile ordering again. So we're just waiting for our order at Columbia Harbor House. We're sitting downstairs, which we actually have never done before. We usually sit upstairs, but why not? Barbecue sauce? Ooh, yeah. I was like, there's not going to be any tables. It's peak time. Guess what? There's like no one else in here. <laughs> time for the happiest cruise I've ever sailed. Is it? Probably the only cruise we'll take. <laughs> It's a classic. Everyone's partying. It's a good time. Even the animals are having a good time. Look at that zebra. He's just really digging his job. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 The rhino is enjoying it too. The monkey, not so much. But the giraffe, the elephant, I mean, everyone is just really having a grand time. Here's to hoping we don't get stuck in honey again. I hope not. Who's always, who's always spilling honey on his ride? Or number one. Again, and again. So. film the whole ride because we do the same thing every time but we don't we don't spin <laughs> we like a nice relaxed tea time not a mad tea party yeah we're in an afternoon tea a high tea not a mad tea would you like some sugar with your tea perhaps that might rock the boat true Where are we? 
are you? Oh, we went to the fitness center. So I can get some water yeah. and a cold towel for all my working out. <laughs> Actually, we went to the fitness towel because some kids pushed all the buttons on the elevator and I wasn't getting off at every floor. So we just stayed here for a while? Yeah. It's like a nice fitness center though. Mm -hmm. It was really weird. There's like two dark clouds there and there and then this weird like square in the middle. It's fine. It's so odd. But sunny over here, but dark clouds up here. It is supposed to rain. I think by seven, although it, I think it's after seven, but um, we were at the Magic Kingdom for a bit, did a few rides and um, we were gonna stay, but it was getting really hot again, and we're meeting up with some friends at 8.30, so um, we figured we would just come back and relax a little bit, so. But here's the creepy cloud. I have a what? The light yellow, I get to go look because I haven't seen the boat. I'm choosing salmon. Okay. It's coming, whatever it is. Can't tell. Black? It's not yellow. <laughs> I don't think. I think it's black. Black. Neither one of us was right. We're getting turn down service and it's 10.15 or 10.20. Hello people.